has this immense weight to it, and I don't mean just the boulder. It feels big. There's something happening, and it's very much one of a kind. And I think a lot of people felt that it was history in the making. We end tonight with an unusual work of art that's getting a lot of attention. The concept is bold, the medium, bolder. It's believed to be one of the biggest engineering moves in ages. Take a look at this, a massive, slow-moving trailer. We've got uh, one truck pulling, and then we'll have one to two trucks pushing, and they have to be synchronized to keep the rock going at all times. But something this big can't just jump on the freeway. To avoid overpasses and weak bridges, it's traveling 105 miles through four counties and 22 cities. At a cost of $10 million, all the funds privately raised. My film tells the story of the, the creation of this piece of art. It's 340 tons, is the actual rock. And really, almost the biggest part of the project is actually the slot that it sits upon. We're sitting, you know, I'm standing at the end of a 450 foot long slot. At the base is 15 feet by 15 feet. So the whole idea is that you can kind of walk, well, you can walk underneath the boulder which does a number of things. I mean, first of all, you can go under it. When's the last time you saw the bottom of a 340-ton boulder? Or even any sculpture. You never see the bottom of a sculpture. But it also creates this space, and I think it's called levitated mass, not that it's floating, but it's, it gives a sense of this rock kind of like rising above you as you descend under it. We're standing on a freeway on-ramp waiting for the biggest thing we've ever seen go down the road come by. We don't often do this. <laughs> This boulder uh, means a lot to us because, you know, it's been, uh, we, we've been watching this since, what, September? Yeah. We've been waiting six months. A couple hours outside is no big deal. Incredibly difficult to move the rock. To find the rock, to buy the rock, to raise the money to move it, and to actually create levitative mass was, is a full-on story in itself. And it tells, finally, the story of the actual movement of the rock, how they physically moved it from the quarry in Riverside, 105 miles, all the way through Los Angeles through a very circuitous route, because it had to kind of avoid bridges and avoid underpasses and avoid weak roads. It was the only way they could actually do it. And they had to get 22 different cities to sign thousands of permits and get all the utilities from the area to remove traffic lights and signals and everything else. It, it, it was just an amazing undertaking of bureaucracy and civic <laughs> coming together. That, this rock is going to be here forever. This is not a temporary installation. This is very much a permanent installation. In fact, it might outlast Los Angeles by a thousand years. And if it does, it's fitting because it's kind of like a pyramid. It's like Stonehenge. It has those qualities. And it's very much not about today. It's very much about the future, and it's about the past because it's made of a 10 million year old rock. And I kind of, I think all those, all those elements are kind of nice about it.